So today I'm here at Los Encinos State Park in Encino, California. This is the site of the Ronnie James Dio Stand Up and Shout Cancer Fund concert. Should be a fun day, let's check it out. Today they're doing the Ronnie James Dio Stand Up and Shout Cancer Fund concert. It's a ride that starts off at Glendale and rides out to Encino to this park here where they have a tribute to Dio and other bands playing and other festivities. Alright, so I just came across Wendy Dio. Hi, how are ya? We're all having fun here. We got a rainbow in the sky. Ronnie's here. And we're just having a great time. Yeah, there really is. There's a rainbow right. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right there. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. It's a sign from Ronnie. <laughs> One thing I found here is uh, somebody selling bamboo socks. So I figured, come check it out and let them tell you what they're all about. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm Anthony with uh, Clean Laundry and we sell the bamboo socks. The big deal about the bamboo socks is they wick so they keep your feet drier and cooler. And uh, that helps prevent uh, athlete's foot, foot fungus. Now, how do these compare to uh, regular cotton socks? Well, the, the big deal is it's, they wick so it keeps the body cooler and they're going to last about yeah. twice as long as a normal yeah, yeah. Uh, cotton sock. So I've never tried bamboo socks before so this would be kind of cool. Now the website is cleanlaundry.com spelled K-L-E-N just so you know. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, showing us your stuff. Yeah and here I want to give you a gift for uh, giving us the time and uh, Hopefully uh, you enjoy it, and if you do, go to cleanlaundry.com. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> So Steven, what's going on with you nowadays? Well nowadays I'm playing music as usual. I have my art collection, StevenAdlerArt.com, and my book. And I put a new band together called, which is Adler's Appetite with new members. And we're going to play a couple songs here at the Dio Festival. And we're having a great time. Come on down before you miss it. I love all of you. Thank you. Alright, I'm here with Eddie Trunk. Uh, Eddie, what's going on? What's new with you? I hear you have a new show. Yes, new TV show called Trunk Fest. It'll be on Access TV Sunday nights at 9.30, starting July 1st. And uh, tell me, what are, what are the other things you're doing? You do Sirius, what else? I have six live radio shows a week on Sirius XM. Uh, the Monday through Friday shows 11A to 1P Pacific Time Live, and replays every night 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's on channel 106 volume. It's all rock talk. Now, you've been here at the Ride for Ronnie at Teach since the beginning, haven't you, all four yeah. years? Yeah. Uh, tell me about your experience here. That's great. I mean, I've had the honor of hosting all of the Dio uh, Cancer Fund charity stuff. Ronnie was a dear friend. Twice a year we celebrate his memory, and we raise for money for a great cause, and that's what this is all about. People coming out, supporting, remembering. Ronnie, great music, and most importantly, raising money for the Dio Cancer Fund. All right, thanks. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, so as I'm wandering around here, who do I come across? Andrew. But the one and only. Ah! Gil Bar. Lots of little Adler, having a good time. So Gilby, tell me what's going on with you, what's new? It's all new, man, I'm here to party. <laughs> Watched all the bands, man, and uh, it's a great cause. It's a beautiful day. Are you playing with a new band right now? Or? No, 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 I still do my solo band all the time. That's really about it. So just Gilby Clark band? Yeah, that's it, yeah. I got a new record coming out this year, and we'll be touring like later in the year. All right, very cool. Happy to be here. Alright, keep having fun. I know, man. Thank you. <laughs>
Hi, How are you, man? Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. What's new nowadays? Uh, just, uh, you know, touring. Got records coming out soon. Everybody will see that. Check my websites and my Facebook pages. Uh, but right now, I'm here celebrating Ronnie James Dio and raising money for cancer, and uh, it's an amazing thing. How many years has it been since you were in Judas Priest? Uh, I was uh, uh, probably 2004, I think I left. Then joined Ingve after that. It was great though, I loved it, good times. Is this your first time at this event? No, I was here uh, two years ago, I did it two years ago. But whenever I can get off tour and do it, I'll, I'll do it, you know. But two years ago I did it. And... Do you live here in LA? No, I live in Ohio, Akron, Ohio. Oh, okay. So you get to go to Cedar Point every once in a while. I haven't been here since I was a little kid, man. I, yeah, but it would be good. Where can we find you next? Uh, well, I think a lot of uh, just touring all over the place, really. You know, I'm doing more of America stuff right now, but, uh, you know, if anybody wanted to check me out, they can go on Instagram or, you know. Just the, under Tim Owens? Well, that one might be the Ripper Owens on Instagram, but, you know, Facebook, they can find me easily, and uh, my website, timrippers.com, and, um, usually has my tour dates I tour pretty much all the time and I've three records coming out so they can check all that stuff out and it's, it'll all be on there. Alright, very cool. Yeah, man. Okay, thanks for taking thanks, time. Buddy. Thank you. Alright. Thanks a lot, man. Let me hear you say rock and roll. Rock and roll. Alright, I want you to follow me on the drums, okay? Rock and roll. Yeah. Dr. Kapoor, he was Ronnie James Dio's doctor, and he's also uh, helping out with the, uh, the the cancer fund. So I thought I'd have him talk about exactly what it is. So through the years, I mean, since Ronnie Ronnie fought a hard battle against gastric cancer, but it was caught too late. So Wendy and I, after after losing him, decided to get together and with a whole bunch of his crew and form a board. And we've been fighting cancer. We raised over almost three million dollars in gastric cancer research that it's gone to basically find ways to screen people to early to find out if they have cancer or risk factors for cancer. So we've come a long way and we're going to be able to stomp out cancer before it starts or get early treatment. Early treatment saves lives. So dedication of Ronnie and his team and his, his friends, his colleagues, uh, people who played with him, and of course all the fans that have supported Ronnie James Dio over the years, but also beyond his years as a legacy and because he's going to help every one of us get affected by cancer. And if we can find ways to detect it early, we can really save lives. event has to have the token drunk guy so let's find one guy here let's see um, let's see hey you look like you're drunk I will be it's eventually oh what the hell oh hi, hello did you have a fun time at this event that's the reason I come here every beer I mean every year <laughs> I mean four beer years ago I, I have selective hearing peace and love this is for Ronnie James man run everything for Ronnie James deal all right, thanks. You have a good night. Get home safe. I will. Can I buy your car keys? <laughs> Can you loan me a dollar? Five dollars? <laughs> All right, peace All right. That's going to wrap things up for me this time here in Los Encino State Park for the Ronnie James Dale Stand Up and Shout Cancer Fund concert and motorcycle ride. 
Uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who took the time to talk to me today. It was a fun day. See you guys around next time. Bye.